Hello, singer friends, and welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victorious Vocal Tips, 29 years of teaching voice, 41 years of studying voice, all different styles. Today's topic will be the beginner's voice lesson. To all beginning singers, congratulations on your decision to work on your singing. Singing is fun, singing is healthy, and it is deeply satisfying. But sometimes it can be daunting, outright confusing for beginners because they ask, well, where do I start? What's the most important thing? There's so many things to choose from. Today, I'm going to gear this video for you. I have lots and lots of videos that cover many different aspects of technique, but today is going to be like the first voice lesson, or in this case, your first voice lesson video. And I will also tell you which of my videos to watch next. Here we go. People often ask me, can anyone sing? So-and-so said they never took voice lessons, but they really sound great. Or do you have to be born with talent? And my answer to you is anyone with a healthy speaking voice can sing. Okay. You notice I said healthy speaking voice can sing. So in our first lesson, we're going to have three goals. The first goal is I want you to open up and let your voice out freely and clearly. And first we will start with simple speaking exercises. Why? Because I said anyone with a healthy speaking voice can sing. So in just a natural speaking voice, nice and free, keeping the throat nice and open, just say for me, ah, or in the lower voice, ah, or maybe you have a higher voice, ah, but nice and free, ah. Okay, you notice the throat feels pretty open and uninvolved. We're not doing a whole lot of work, just saying, ah. So you're going to focus on your open and free throat. And I want a clear speaking tone. So I don't want this, ah, okay. Or I don't want this, ah, uh, no. When we do these speaking exercises, I want clarity and I want energy and I want ease because we are going to be applying this to our singing. So once more in your regular speaking voice, ah, with ease and clarity. Great. If you're doing ah, that's under energized. Okay. That's breathy. Okay. If you're doing ah, that's tight. Okay. We want ease. Ah, great. Now we're going to do what I call a spoken siren. And we're not going to go very high and not very low. I'm just easing you into this. So we're just going to go, ah, or in the lower voice, ah, we're now starting to glide through the different registers of our voice. So again, in the middle voice, ah, low voice, ah, how about in the upper voice? Ah, great. This should feel easy. It should feel fun. And it should feel like the voice just flows. If it doesn't feel like that, then I would stop and repeat these exercises because I don't want you to go to singing if this does not feel easy and free. You can learn more about these speaking exercises and spoken and sung sirens on my video find and develop your true voice. That's the next video I would recommend that you watch after this. Why do I start on the ah vowel? In my experience, the ah vowel is the easiest vowels for singers to experience their open and free throat. Other vowels may be more challenging. If ah for some reason is hard for you, then you are welcome to try another vowel. But once again, we want a nice free and open throat. Ah, not ah or ah. Great. Once that's clear, we are ready to apply to singing. Simple exercises. Today, just a five tone 
descending scale on A. Ah. Or in the lower register for men, ah, two more. Ah. Reminder, you have to open your mouth. Sometimes in the beginning, singers are really self-conscious about opening up their mouths, but you have to open up your mouth to let the sound out and to sing freely. One more. Ah. Great. Now, I would like you to do the same easy descending five-tone scale on mom. Why am I choosing mum? This is starting to give you the idea of clarity and focus and ring and ping in the vowel. That's what the M does for you. Mama, mama, mama. Put your man down here. Mama, mama, mama. Mama, mama, mama. You do all of these exercises in the part of your voice that is most comfortable for you. So most people that will mean middle voice. Don't try to tackle the high notes and singing loud and all of that advanced stuff because all that's gonna do is make it more difficult. In the beginning, remember, we want freedom and we want ease. If that's going well, then we will be ready for our ascending, descending five tone scale. Let's do it on off ah first. Great. If that's going well, then your next step will be to do it on mom. So we have just applied the ease and the freedom and the openness that we felt in the ah uh, spoken exercises to singing. So now we are ready for our second goal. I want you to understand that good singing is an athletic endeavor. Good singing involves the whole body. So your first exercise to understand this will be the lip trill. Again, you can hoist your cheeks up if that helps you. Okay, don't worry if you cannot do that. The second choice will be the tongue drill. If you can't do that, no sense giving up because there are other options that everyone can do. Next will be the V or option four Z. Watch my video on the lip trill and other alternatives for more details on how to do this correctly and make sure you're not practicing incorrectly. But what does this do? <laughs> Hooks you up to your support muscles, your upper and lower abdominals, okay? Your singing feels deeper and fuller when you support. <laughs> to further understand, how singing is a full-bodied activity, watch my video on posture, because in singing, your body is your instrument. So if your posture's not right, guess what? Your sound's not gonna be right. After the posture video, then I would go on to my video on breathing, inhalation for singing. Good singers must learn how to inhale properly because the Breath is what fuels the tone. And good singers must know how to regulate and support the escape of air using the support muscles. Watch my video on support. We are now ready for our final goal. Number three, singing is fun. You must have a song to apply exercises to. Otherwise, the exercises will not be practical for you and you will not be inspired. You know, when people don't have fun singing, they don't practice, okay? 
We say singing is fun, it's healthy, and it's deeply satisfying. So find a song that sits in the middle voice. People always ask me, well, what kind of song should I practice in the beginning? I say, find a song that sits in the middle voice where you're comfortable. Something that's easy, not huge jumps and, you know, just at an easy, moderate volume. Such as, you know how I love to sing in different styles. But if I want to have fun and apply what I just did in my exercises to let the voice out easily and freely, then how about my sherry more lovely as a summer day. It's me. So there we have it, the voice lesson for beginners. After this video, the order I recommend in my video sequence is find and develop your true voice. Then watch the video on posture for singing. Then inhalation for singing. After that, support for singing. Okay, then I have many, many other videos, but I would say these are the most important to get you started because in singing, you need to have a good foundation. Your singing will last you your whole life and will give you many, many years of enjoyment if you take care of it. So remember, open up and let your voice out freely and clearly with ease. Number two, good singing is an athletic endeavor. And number three, have fun. I hope you have enjoyed another video from Victoria's Victorious Vocal Tips. Send me any comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know of any other videos you'd like me to make for you. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon.